Hey gamers! This year marks the 25th anniversary of the Nintendo Game Boy, and I'm a big fan, so I decided to follow a tutorial on Adafruit.com to make not one, but two 3D printed Raspberry Pi based Game Boy emulators. So stick around to find out how I made them and how you can win one of them for free. So here's the finished emulator that I'll be giving away. Adafruit refers to this as a pie boy or pie girl, and you can make one yourself by following the tutorial on adafruit.com. The big things you'll need are a 3D printed pie boy case, a Raspberry Pi Model B, a touchscreen display, a LiPo battery, and a charger. The buttons and D-pad come from a hacked Super Nintendo controller. To make the case, I printed the pieces in ABS plastic using the XYZ DaVinci 3D printer and a 3D model from Adafruit. Once the parts were printed, I did a lot of sanding and filing to make them look nice, and treated them with acetone to make them all smooth and shiny. So you can see the difference. Here's one that's just come from the printer, and here's one that's been sanded and treated. If you're going to build one yourself, it's a good idea to skip ahead to the next step and open up the SNES controller that you're taking the buttons from to make sure that they fit. If not, a rotary tool with a round cutting bit will be your best bet. The buttons just drop in but I had to cut the circuit board from the controller into three parts to make them sit where they needed to be. Speaking of taking apart controllers, be sure to check out my other controller mod videos! The Raspberry Pi is a functional computer right out of the box, but it doesn't have a screen. Adafruit's 2.8 inch touchscreen kit fits right on it. There's a ribbon cable that plugs into the touchscreen board and connects the Pi to the buttons. To put that together, I had to scrape off the traces from the SNES circuit board and then solder the wires according to Adafruit's tutorial. The power switch goes into the side of the case, and I just soldered the switch to the voltage booster, then soldered that to the LiPo charger. Now it's time to put it all together! The Pi Boy uses an operating system called Cupcade, which has the emulator built in. Once Cupcade was up and running, I tested out all the buttons to make sure that they worked properly, and I ran into a few problems. First, the D-pad really didn't want to stay in place. To fix it, I made a hole in the circuit board using an old drill bit. Then I cut off a piece of that drill bit and glued it to the inside of the D-pad. Then to keep everything else lined up, I used some non-conductive epoxy putty to make a bridge between the pieces of circuit board. This way all the buttons stay lined up since the boards don't shift as easily. Finally, when I put the case together, I found that there was a pretty big gap at the top. As you can see, the screws that hold the case in place are all below the screen. To fix this, I dabbed some acetone into the gap and held tight until it dried. Now that everything's working, I need some games. I respect the hard work that devs do, so I'm only going to install games I already own, or games from sites like MameDev.org, which has a collection of free ROMs that work well with the Pi Boy and other emulators. If you decide to try this yourself, you can ask me any questions you have in the comments below, and I'll definitely try to help. Uh, Saber, the giveaway! Oh yeah! <gasps> Okay, so to win this exact pie boy, all you have to do is make sure you're subscribed to our channel, like this video, and leave a comment about your favorite Game Boy game. My favorites are Kirby's Dream Land and Tetris. I love Tetris. I play Tetris on every console I've ever owned, including the Game Boy. I drink with Tetris ice cubes. I walk my dog with a Tetris leash. In fact, I'm going to PAX Prime this week, and there's going to be a panel with the creator of the original Tetris and game devs from Tetris Ultimate which is the new version of Tetris for the next-gen consoles. So if you're a fan of Tetris, check out Tetris Ultimate. If you're going to PAX, check out the panel, and maybe I'll see you there. Thanks for watching. And cut! Whew. I don't really have to give it away, right? Uh, yes you do. But I made it. You made two! But I love them both. Fine. What's up, Pixel here? This month, Far Cry 4 was on the cover of Game Informer and the art was so bold and beautiful. I used it as inspiration for my nails. 